Hi, Drew, Congressman. This question comes from Manuel Garcia Jr. and he's saying, I'm a 63-year-old retiree paying for my own insurance. As of now, I'm paying $840 a month just for premiums. I figure that by the end of the year, I'll be putting out, a po out of pocket for co-pays, medications, and insurance about $18,000, and that's almost half of our retirement income. What is your plan to make sure people like me who are not on Medicare don't get thrown under the bus when you can't come up with a health care plan to protect all Americans. Issue. Congressman Westman, I wanted to ask you about the tax cuts that are included in this piece of legislation. According to the Tax Policy Center, highest earning 20 percent of households, those making over 150,000 or more, would receive 80 percent of the benefits of the tax cuts. The top one percent would get half the benefits. I wonder why that's included in a health care plan. Yeah, well, the, the tax cuts were aimed at the individual mandate and the employer mandate. And uh, back to the, the issue on uh, Mr. Garcia being 63 years old, uh, close to being able to draw uh, Medicare. One flaw that I saw with the House version of the budget or of the uh, health care bill was the fact that the uh, uh, credits that were in there were not adequate for people near retirement age, but that's something the Senate fixed in their version of the bill, and it goes to the point that we got a bill out of the House, got it to the Senate, there were some changes being made, and I don't know what the Senate's going to, to end up doing, but we're working constructively trying to come up with the best plan to uh, fix our uh, health insurance system uh, because uh, premiums are continuing to go up. We're hearing that uh, numbers will, or premiums could go up 40, 60 percent uh, this fall and it is imploding on itself. So we have uh, got to continue working constructively to come up with a solution to address these issues. Well, 